Next up, we have a company called Mayudic Enterprises from the Velocity Foundry, and they're creating a revolutionary tool and die technology that will allow a surface to repair itself when damaged. They're made up of a really great mixture of electrical, computer, chemical, and nanotechnology alums from the University of Waterloo. Ossif is going to be pitching today. Let's give him a big round of applause. Thanks, Mike, for that intro. Measure twice, cut once. Manufacturing lines all over the world are producing $2 billion of wasted product a day because their equipment gets damaged. I don't a manufacturing line at Procter & Gamble uses a head box to squeeze plastic through and create flat plastic sheets, as you can see in red. As they're squeezing it through, they have to repair it twice a week for two hours, which costs them $60,000 an hour. This equates to them losing a million dollars a month. Using nanotechnology, we have developed a self-repairing morphing surface that we call Morpheus. Because it uses magnetism, we can, the only moving part is a pin, allowing us to change the shape of a surface electronically. By introducing our product into the manufacturing line, we can compensate for the damage that the head box receives and allow us to make the corrections and replace unexpected downtime with preventative maintenance. Our initial target market is the $650 million tool and die market in Ontario, which makes a small fraction of the $357.8 billion Canadian manufacturing equipment market. However, the applications for our technology are not limited, and many industry experts have commented that the best applications for our technology is in low-cost, high-production areas such as aerospace, transportation, and uh, energy. Our current industry competitors are the tool and die market, which produce static products that start at half a million dollars and can't self-repair. Our technology competitors are using mechanical solutions that cannot be miniaturized because they have too many moving parts and they're bulky. As a result, their pins, seen in yellow, are 2,500 times larger than our pins. We've been working with Procter & Gamble to help us define the specifications we need for the manufacturing industry. We've been also talking with Tata and GE Ventures who are interested in the various applications for our technology. And Technology expert at National Research Council of Canada has commented saying the technology we are developing will revolutionize the manufacturing process. And recently, we were ranked the second best startup in North America by the Kauffman Foundation. Our team is comprised of four nanotechnology engineers with 10 years industry experience at Procter & Gamble, GM, and Johnson & Johnson. We've worked on various projects together and we developed our skills in spintronics, microfluidics, microfabrication, and manufacturing. Our experts, our advisors, are experts in nanotechnology, manufacturing, and software engineering. Morpheus, by Mayudic, we're shaping the future. Thanks. <laughs>